Howdy mates. Good afternoon. How are we all doing today? It is Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. And by the way, I need to get used to saying 2023. Might take a couple of weeks. <laughs> so today, I'm actually revisiting a particular park that I have not really been to in a while. You could say that I'm scoping it out more or less, which I'll explain why in a moment. But where we're at is a place known as the Lemon Creek Wildflower Preserve. Lemon Creek is essentially just a little stream that is, it's basically connecting to the Lemon Bay into this park. It's like a small little stream, which will eventually meet up with the Gulf to the west. Now, this particular park actually has a very fascinating history. Because you go back 15 plus years ago, this whole entire area where I'm standing, it was once a country club or a golf course. However, now it looks very much different than a golf course. So, that being said, if we go back to 2000, oops, if we go back to 2010, a non-profit organization that is based in Englewood, Florida, bought this property. And this particular nonprofit that I speak of is something known as the Lemon Bay Conservancy. And they are an organization that focuses upon ecological restoration as well as providing environmental educational opportunities for the public, adults, teenagers, and children alike. So, they bought the property back in 2010, and where we're essentially standing, this whole area was overrun by invasive plants. The most prevalent was the Brazilian pepper. So you could say that this was all mostly disturbed habitat. And so, the Lemon Bay Conservancy recruited mostly volunteers and some board members to start incorporating a plan for including hiking trails as well as planting native flora that belongs in the state. And you figure that is still essentially happening to this day. Especially given that Hurricane Ian has occurred. That has really been more of the focus here at this particular park. To clear out any excessive debris from buildings and the like. So, what the Lemon Bay Conservancy focuses here in particular... They have the opportunity to take part in juvenile tarpon research because this is a unique thing about tarpon is they usually begin their life in a more estuarine and a bit of freshwater habitat. But once they reach into their maturity they will actually go spawning in the offshore waters. So you figure in this case, in the Gulf of Mexico. Directly opposite of what snook do. And the snook, on the other hand, they spawn in the estuary in waters, and then they spend a bunch of their life in open water. So 
that is something that they do provide during certain times of the year. And in addition, people, volunteers, they have the opportunity to participate in native planting. And, as I mentioned already, hiking tours. So essentially this place was put here for future generations and the public to have an understanding of the importance of these native ecosystems and how it plays a vital role in our ecology. You know, this is where we get some of our medicinal plants, such as that of the cabbage palm, for example. Just showing you guys around. But here is the thing that I do need to mention to you all. Is this isn't necessarily a public park by any means. You actually need to be either a member or even a volunteer. Fortunately, I had permission to come out here to basically scope it out and film. Because in two weeks, on the 18th, I will have an opportunity to lead a hike out here. And it will be my first time doing one through the Lemon Bay Conservancy. But, yeah. So really, this is just you know a brief little overview for all of you, so that you can at least see a little piece of the park before you go to a public hiking program. So, alrighty, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it, you know, something educational worth learning, and I hope all of you have enjoyed this new year so far, and enjoy the rest of your day. Alrighty, journey on a journey is ours. Take care, folks. See ya.